You know, taking a life is a very touchy subject. Not for everybody, but for most that actually relate to it, right? I was raised by them. And there's a common theme. That common theme is, don't want to talk about it. So, it's easy to point out, you know, loud mouths that run their mouth. But, they're really not. what they say they are, you know, right? Um, they're corny. Um, and I, you know, I don't even really like to talk about this kind of stuff. You know, it's, like I said, it's a touchy subject, but, um, but at the same time, you know, it shouldn't be so touchy that we can't talk about it in the gun community. This is, I mean, it's part of our reality in the gun community, period. You know, I seen something yesterday and it's, it was a trip. Um, the person was in prison um but he beat he beat his case he beat death row and he was in there for murder but um claims he didn't do it he didn't murder anybody and um he basically beat the situation However, you can tell by the way he talks that he knows a little something about it. If you listen to him, and if you know anything about this type of thing, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now, the situation is kind of cold-blooded because somebody threatened his kids. Somebody threatened his son, said they were going to kill his son. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you've never swung your fist a day in your life. If somebody's threatening your kids, you have a natural reaction to protect. And... That's what he was off of. And you're about to see his comments towards this person who threatened to kill his son. And giving you an update before you even look at it. The person who threatened his son died five days later. Doesn't mean he did it. Or had someone do it. When you put evil out. Like that. It come back and bite you. You know. Um, you threaten to kill somebody's child. You, something's wrong with you. Just to do. Just to threaten like that in the first place. But as he says in the video that you're about to see. The guy in about that anyway. We carry firearms because we may have to protect ourselves, but we don't want to. We don't want to shoot somebody. We don't want to take somebody's life. And there's this extra part that's not talked about much that he touches on. You don't want to see it. You you don't you don't want to see that. You don't want to feel that. 
That's another common theme with people who have had to take a life, especially in urban conditions. Listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Block. Nigga on here talking about he'll kill my son. Man, you tripping, dog. <laughs> oh, man, I already know who you is. <laughs> you done fucked up. Nigga, you ain't never killed nothing. You don't know what it feel like to kill that nigga. You probably diarrhea out these kids. Here. You gonna throw up, nigga. <laughs> you gonna throw up all on the scene, you scared ass nigga. <laughs> Big fan. Bitch ass shit, nigga, you ain't gonna kill, nigga, you don't know. What you mean about that? 